Hey everybody, we are in the future, believe it or not. Yep, we are in the future and uh, I'm trying to corral this beautiful stardust shrimp for you guys to take a look at, but I think he disappeared. So we're going to take a look at these incredible new uh, shrimp, these cheetah shrimp, which are probably some sort of wild variant uh, that is found in uh, mainland southern China or uh, Vietnam, maybe even near Hong Kong. Hard to say for sure. They could even be from Taiwan. But uh, we also have, along with them, some beautiful raccoon tiger shrimp. These guys, some of them have some orange eyes and orange tails, which is pretty cool. And uh, they're hanging out in a bit of a, a quarantine tank, just getting settled in. But we also have the oldie but goodie to show you, the tangerine tiger shrimp, uh, looking really good. This is a kind of a sub-adult. And these are all from uh, Grant over at the Garden of Eater uh, Shrimps.com, which is uh, T G O E Shrimps.com. And we've even got a discount code for you. So stay tuned, check out the unboxing, and we'll come back and take a look a little closer at these shrimp after uh, you've gone back in time, unboxed, seen how these all get sent out, and. Uh, and we'll talk about it all right all right everybody so we've got this box here and i can definitely tell you this is not grant's fault this is the post office gotta love them so uh looks like they turned the box into an accordion and then they also i noticed when he took it off the local truck i happened to be in my carport and you literally just tossed it onto the ground. So I know this has been shaken and stirred, the way James Bond likes it, but shrimp are pretty hardy, so hopefully they'll be all right and not have any head trauma. So uh, their head has a heart in it anyways, so we'll see. Do, 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 put music on, pretend it's your favorite song. So if you guys want to uh, visit Grant's uh, site, you can go to T-G-O-E shrimp.com, which is the Garden of Eater, and that's his last name, E-D-E-R, and like the Garden of Eden, but his last name. And he's got lots of different uh, fancy shrimp there, caradina, and uh, all sorts. So, uh, he is, I believe, down in Florida. And, well, I know down in Florida. He's headquartered down in Florida. And let's see here how everything was packed. So, looks like everything got lots of padding, which is great. Oh, wow. He's sent me uh, quite a few things here. That's very kind of you, Grant. Thank you, man. Uh, so, I know that some of the things were going to be what they were going to be. And around here, the weather has been eh, about 40 or 50 degrees most days. And, oh, wow, look at that. Very, uh, very lively, happy shrimp. That's great. So, he probably fasts them. They're in a breather bag. Um, which is great, and they're pretty much room temperature. Um, it looks like we've got maybe, it's hard to tell for sure on here, but but maybe um, cheetahs. Looks like there's something written on here, but uh, it, it got wet, so let's see here. Yeah, I think it says cheetahs. So these are, we'll get a better shot of them later too, but these are the cheetah caradina shrimp really nice um they're they're very pretty they've got this iridescent blue and then they also have these kind of stripes on them so they're almost like a blue boat bolt mixed with a wild with like a little yellow in the tail usually very cool shrimp um very nice and they've got a little perch to hang out on a little plastic um perch which is nice a lot of people don't necessarily do that uh, but I noticed that it really helps the shrimp travel. They feel safer that way, and they can hold on to something less stress. So that's great. Um, and there's also not a lot of waste in there either as far as um, them going to the bathroom. So another nice thing. Looks like I can read the newspaper 
from Florida also, which is always an interesting perk. Uh, so, let's see, what do we have here next? So, the next unboxing, they look alive and well, which is great. And um, I'm trying to see what's written on here. Oh, these are the awesome Stardust ones. And I don't know if these are Kohl's or the actual uh, Stardust, but uh, it looks like we've got maybe three in here, like a little baby, and or four maybe. Uh, but these are really pretty. If you go to their website, they're super pretty, the, the nice ones that he's got. Um, and uh, we'll get a better shot of these later. But... Uh, another really cool uh, Caradina that's kind of like a metallic shimmering and blue one again. Um, so very neat, very neat shrimp. Uh, yeah, we'll get a better shot of them because they definitely deserve it. All right. Wow. Thank you so much, Grant. And his prices are really fair, too, so I do have to give him a shout-out for that. You know, I usually uh, plug Aquatic Arts for their shrimp, and they're trying to do a big Neo Caradina and other wild shrimp breeding program in the U.S. here. Uh, they've got, like, you know, a few thousand square feet in their new warehouse, and uh, you can always do that. Check my latest videos in the description for the code uh, that's up to date to get 15% off, but... Um, they're they're uh, more focused on Neo Caradina and the the more modern lines of those, and then also you know they've got some Babalti's and other stuff like that. But um, Grant really has the incredible high end and and um, kind of cutting edge stuff in the hobby. These are ones I absolutely love. These are raccoons, so they're not crystals or anything like that. They're uh, called raccoons and sorry you're looking at my dirty nails but I was just working in the aqua soil um, in the new aquascape but these are another really cool uh, pretty little neo or uh, normal caradina shrimp uh, and I believe these are wild uh, they're like a wild basically where they would probably start the strain from um, and then they're probably selected for within that wild grouping but um, another really beautiful shrimp uh, and I'll be able to start a campfire with all this paper, but it's nice that it's all recyclable. I like that that's, it's not a bunch of, um, you know, plastic and styrofoam and stuff like that, and they're all in breather bags, which is great. And, uh, you know, shrimp can actually travel. They're pretty hardy. It's a testament to them. And Caradina tend to be known as kind of the more fragile of the groupings of them, but these, obviously, he raises a very robust and strong group of shrimp. So these, I'm guessing, are the uh, tangerine of some sort. Let's see here. Uh, tangerine tigers, I think. Uh, and let's see here if we can get a little glimpse at them. These are ones that I've never had and I've always wanted. Um, I think I had one of them in a, like, in a coal... Uh, pack that somebody uh, sent me once and yep so they're really beautiful yellow these are really bright tangerine shrimp especially considering they're all at like room temperature right now uh, and it's basically winter today's actually the first day of spring but um, yeah I mean these are very vivid shrimp for being just unboxed so very nice unboxing there uh, as far as the way it was all packed and everything uh, it seems like he knows the time of year and, and the parameters his shrimp will survive and uh, the breathing bags are nice quality and everything, the breather bags. So let's get these uh, shrimp acclimated. They're going to be drip acclimated because of the breather bags. Uh, and then we will uh, take a look at some shots of them in the wild or, or rather in, in total confinement in, in my tanks. All right, guys, I'll see you when they're in the tanks in a few hours. All right, guys, so here we are at the unboxing, and they are in a quarantine tank settling in. Look at that iridescence on this stardust shrimp right here. It's got like a blue undertone body, and there's just orange and yellow and all sorts of colors that show up in different angles of light. And when the natural sunlight hits them, they really glow. And then on top of all that, 
they have these beautiful little white speckles all over them kind of like a golden nebula uh, and it's not certain which species this is yet uh, from what I've read there seems to be conflicting info uh, so we shall see but uh, moving on to the other specimens that Grant sent me uh, check out these beautiful uh, raccoon tiger shrimp so these ones these guys happen to have like a red bridge on their eye which I think is just super cool looking and you can see the berries in her you can see her shoulder uh, is saddling up with the the yellow eggs there in her ovaries but these are the raccoon shrimp which are new to the hobby in America also uh, they go really well with these little uh, Keelys that I'm probably gonna keep them with and again you can see that blue iridescence and almost like a slight metallic look really uh, on these stardust shrimp now also going on in here what they're eating right now is these pollen granules and these pollen granules uh, just happen to be from aquatic arts uh, happens to be what I decided to feed them plus some Bacter AE uh, which I put in there that helps build biofilm and stuff like that for them to munch on and uh, all their dry goods at Aquatic Arts happen to be uh, free shipping right now. So I have a discount code for them as well as the Garden of Eater or the, the guy who sent me these incredible shrimp. I've got discount codes for both places. Uh, grants at the Garden of Eater Shrimp, which is abbreviated to uh, T-G-O-E shrimps.com uh, if you go there and you use the checkout code secret 10 you will get 10% off any of the shrimp you want to buy and uh, over at aquatic arts uh, anything you want to buy there uh, you can use history secret 15 for 15% off or or uh, history secret 10 if you've already used the 15% off and you'll get 10% off uh, and entered into any drawings and giveaways we do now all that being said uh, Grant raises a hundred and fifty different types of shrimp which is just astounding he sent me these tangerine tigers also and I don't think I've ever seen tangerine tigers even in pictures that are quite this beautiful that just glow from the inside out like these guys so really cool to see also the cheetah shrimp I think these are my favorite look at the red they look black at first the markings but they're red they're like dark dark red on this one and then it glows kind of an, uh, a pink or an orange from the inside and yeah. along with that the other ones like this one which is stretching and probably uh, gonna be molting soon it has more of a blue or, or um, purple colored pattern to it and uh, also it's got those eyeballs kinda like Gonzo from the Muppets so pretty cool looking shrimp and they're all pretty peaceful little dwarf shrimp uh, and they can be kept in the same water parameters of uh, somewhere down around uh, 6.0 to 6.5 and uh, a TDS uh, that you want to keep fairly low but you know someone like a, a KH of around 3 to 5 and a, a, a GH of of around uh, 4 to 6 is what most of the, the things I've read have said although if you go on to Grant's uh, site he has everything listed there uh, for the quality of them and you know when I got sent these I originally I thought that they were going to be coals because that's what we had talked about but these are no coals these are like these are very high quality uh, nice grade shrimp so thank you very much Grant I really appreciate it buddy and uh, I mean the way they came and everything you guys saw it I would highly recommend it if you guys are looking for uh, a hard to find uh, shrimp variety or 
even Neo Caradina, Caradina, uh, he's got he's got a good selection. So I definitely would uh, recommend him. Now I happen to get these uh, yellow uh, shrimp and red shrimp from uh, Aquatic Arts a number of years ago. These are kind of offsprings of them, but this is kind of my nursery slash holding tank um, for either pregnant females or uh, guys that are growing in tanks where there's fish. So that's what's going on. But I'm going to leave it here because next time we will be talking about each one of these little species and what it is we know about them. Because like I said, they are all new to the hobby. But we'll be talking about each one of these uh, and their particular care and details uh, and habits and habitats, if, if we have that info, uh, as species spotlights. So I'm going to leave it here, but subscribe and uh, stay tuned. Click the little bell if you want to be informed when those episodes come out. And until then, I will talk to you guys next time. Uh, just a great unboxing here. So thanks again, Grant. And, uh, thanks again to all of you who are tuning in. I appreciate you guys for, uh, commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. All those things mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Uh, and be sure to utilize the discount codes if you're, uh, gonna buy some shrimp from Grant. So that'll be listed in the description box down below. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!